Hey YouTube, it's Caitlin here with Caitlin Inspires and today I wanted to talk to you about knee dislocation. Um, this is an injury that I typically have gone through multiple and multiple times myself and that uh, apparently some of you on YouTube are going through as well. Um, so I just wanted to share my experience and tell you more in depth about what knee dislocation or patellar dislocation is all about. So. To get started, uh, patellar dislocation occurs especially in younger athletes. Most of the dislocations can occur laterally, so that means that your kneecap will dislocate off to the side, so it'll go laterally. Um, when these occur, they are often associated with significant pain and swelling. Following a patellar dislocation, uh, the first, uh, first step that you need to do is to relocate the patella uh, into its groove or back into the hole in which it belongs. Um, you don't want to leave it out of place longer any any time longer than right after the dislocation if you can just try to really monitor the time that it's out of socket or out of groove <laughs> um, anyhow this often happens uh, spontaneously as an individual would extend um, the knee either while in the emergency room or uh, at the examination of their kneecap um, they want to typically just get it back in place as soon as possible um, Occasionally, relocation of the patella occurs before the examination, so we'll get into that later though. That would be called a subluxation. Um, associated problems uh, normally occur with patellar dislocations like tearing of the ligaments that stabilize the kneecap itself. And as is the case with all other joints, ligament disruption or tearing occurs to allow the joint to dislocate. Um, in the case of patellar dislocation, the ligaments on the inside of the knee uh, are most commonly ignored as the kneecap slides laterally. So, um, yeah, you want to make sure that the, the ligaments and the tendons inside of the knee are protected uh, and make sure you can do that by muscle uh, strength training, um, providing muscle around that kneecap. So you want to always make sure you have a leg day, you guys, and allow yourself to heal properly after leg, after leg day. Um, but yeah, so while tearing of these ligaments is unfortunate, they do have the potential to heal. Um, of much more concern are the smaller fragments of cartilage and bone that are often knocked off of the kneecap or uh, lateral femoral condylate during the relocation of your kneecap. So you want to make sure that your bones and your uh, cartilage isn't knocked off either. Just make sure you go to the doctor if you dislocate your knee. Long story short. Um, these fragments become loose bodies and usually require removal during an arthroscopic uh, procedure. So they will literally have to go in and cut open your leg to pull these fragments out. Nobody wants that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, you really need to make sure that you're careful when doing various sports and activities. Um, Patellar dislocations can cause significant quadricep muscle injuries, which can be uh, made worse due to a fusion with the knee or too early onset of exercises. So definitely, guys, if you uh, upset or dislocate your knee in any way, be sure to take a break off exercising for a while, from approximately one to three weeks before you return to exercise or anything strenuous. I would just recommend maybe a lot walk but nothing else, okay? Guys, earlier is, besides the knee, knee dislocation, the thing that occurs to me most often, and um, more than it probably should, is a kneecap uh, subluxation, a patellar subluxation. So, a condition referred to as a patellar subluxation also exists. Uh, the problem exists on a continuum uh, between patellar femoral malalignment and patellar dislocation. So, it's not yet a dislocation, but it's a malalignment, so it it it's when your bones don't line up correctly around your kneecap. Um, I had to have surgery for this. So a subluxation is a partial dislocation uh, in which the patella attempts to dislocate but does not do so completely. Uh, situation, situations such as these are very disconcerting and and often give the patients a sense of giving away or like buckling like you're tripping. Um, these situations are treated with therapy, um, heat, ice, um, a little bit of walking, bicycling, light, low intensity exercise to rehabilitate the kneecap. I had to go through about six to eight weeks, I remember, I was like 14, 
after my surgery of rehabilitation for this uh, procedure. Um, patellar dislocations can, can occur uh, either in contact or non-contact situations. So an athlete can dislocate the patella when the foot is planted or a rapid change of direction or twisting can occur. So let's say that you're playing soccer, you go boom, you kick the thing and your kneecap dislocates. That is a contact uh, dislocation. A non-contact non dislocation would be uh, tripping on a rock or falling off a ledge on a sidewalk, which happens to me more than uh, it probably should. But yeah, that's a non-contact dislocation. Um, so usually a pre-existence ligaments uh, laxity. So let's say... Uh, your ligaments are already um, in good shape, you've done no damage to them, and you go running and you trip, your kneecap probably won't dislocate. But let's say you've uh, dislocated your knee or had a subluxation or injured your knee in the past and your ligaments are torn, this will result in a di dislocation because it's all depending on the uh, laxity of your ligaments in your kneecap. Um, so yes, um, direct blows to the knee um, can cause dislocations obviously as well. Uh, the force of these is obviously much greater and usually causes more severe damage especially to restraining ligaments. So let's say um, you're playing kickball and you want to run and kick the ball and then as soon as you kick that thing, blow to the knee, it just dislocates. That would be a direct blow to the knee. Um, so yes, and there's also many things we can do about this. We'll get to that in just a moment. Hey guys, so let's talk about surgery. What do we need to do to heal this dislocated knee? Do we need surgery or do we not? Um, a non-operative uh, procedure would look a little something like this. So uh, normal care of patellar dislocations is usually 7 to 10 days. Uh, during this time, the swelling is reduced and the discomfort of this uh, dislocation decreases. Um, slow mo uh, mobilization of your knee and of the pat uh, patellar femoral joint um, is then begun and usually in full recovery. can be expected within a 3 to 6 week period, which is kind of a big deal if you, you, know, you train and you want to be in the gym all the time. So be careful guys. Um, so yeah, um, the period of this time can significantly uh, be lengthened when the patellar dislocation is recurrent. So don't get up and go play sports if you dislocate your knee. You will lengthen your recovery time. And that's not fun, you guys. You want to get out there and lift. You want to go deadlift. You want to go squat. You don't want to be on the couch for months, okay? Um, so yeah, that would be... Um, about the length of recovery time uh, process. So yeah, three to six weeks. Um, unfortunately, once a patellar dislocation occurs, especially when it occurs in a situation where uh, the hyperlaxity of the ligaments exists, which is commonly the case, uh, recurrent dislocations can be expected. So if you do tear your ligaments, expect to dislocate your knee again. Just being honest, guys, bro, just being honest, it's going to re-dislocate. This has happened like 30 times on both legs. Um, so yeah, just take care of yourself as best as you can. Um, these are significant problematic for athletes as they often come in midst of the season uh, where they're out there practicing a lot, um, kicking the ball, lifting the weights, knee dislocations are happening everywhere. <laughs> um, conservative management of these problems in season with appropriate rest, appropriate hip and thigh muscle strengthening, and perhaps the use of patellar bones or patellar braces is appropriate. So you want to wear a brace on your patella and on your kneecap if you're going to be training. And I will show you my brace here shortly. So some situations of patellar dislocation can and should be treated uh, surgically. But uh, one situation is when the reoccurring dislocations occur. Um, these procedures can be either soft tissue or uh, bone procedures or a combination thereof. So these are just some options for an operative uh, treatment, um, which is kind of what I had when I had my knee dislocation. They had to go in and realign my bones, and that's because I'm pigeon-toed. I walk like this, you know? Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, 
first time traumatic patellar dislocations can also be treated with procedures such as this and uh, the chosen situations doing so may be appropriate. Uh, it's just, it's necessary. So um, the surgical procedures on the patella are, are usually done in the outpatient setting. So you would go see um, like a, uh, what do they call them? orthopedic surgeon um, instead of just like at your regular hospital you would go to your orthopedic surgeon. Um, procedures limited to altering soft tissue tension begin rehabilitation within a week and return to activity can be expected as early as six weeks which was my case. I was one of the lucky ones. I was up walking within I think it was six days after my knee surgery. Of course I had uh, crutches but I was still able to walk so thank you Jesus is all because of him. Um, but yes, uh, procedure is limited to altering soft tissue, uh, tissue rehabilitation is within three to six weeks. Um, procedures that require bone work, so let's say you're going into more depth, which is what I had going on, I had both, um, you know, both procedures done. Uh, it's supposed to take 10 to 12 weeks before returning to athletic activity. Um, in which I did wait out the time before I returned to athletic activity, but I was walking much sooner. Um, so yes, as far as support and the brace I was talking to you about, this is mine. Um, it's a patella brace. This hole right here, here in the front, is where you will put your kneecap um, and these wraps will wrap around your leg. Um, I would put it on, but I'm so short you would not be able to see that without the help of my film producer. So this is the brace and it just Velcros like this. It looks like that. Wrap it around the leg, buckle around the leg, buckle, and that's what it looks like in the front. Um, so yeah, as far as workouts after you dislocate your knee, if this shall happen to you, um, make sure that you do some light biking or walking. Um, be very careful. I don't recommend you go out and do squats and lunges and box jumps. Just be very careful with what you're doing. So anyhow, thank you for watching Caitlin Inspires Personal Training. Hopefully I helped you guys today uh, learning a little bit about knee dislocation, something different to the channel. And um, stay tuned for more awesome videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!